Hello everyone, today I will uh, show you how to use ISBM SPSS module to construct a, a classification tree and then using the constructed tree to uh, evaluate the new coming data. Okay. So uh, let's get started. Um, so in order to build the uh, to build the uh, model, we use the uh, source node to load the data. So I have the uh, data in the Microsoft Excel notes so um, format so I use the, the uh, Excel uh, note right here to loading the data okay so double click in there and then uh, we're gonna import the file from the location to store the file so I have the right here so in order to check the uh, loading data correctly or not uh, we using the preview function right here so now I can see that uh, my data set gonna have um, a uh, 14 fields, it means a uh, 14 variables in there. You have the ID, you have age, experience, income, and so on. Okay, uh, we have the first 10 records have been uh, loaded for preview, so we have from 1 to 10, and so we can see the very uh, the value of each of the variable in these uh, first 10 uh, records in there. Okay, so so far the loading data is fine. Uh, Sometimes we have the data in different uh, sheet in the uh, Microsoft Excel we can use by name uh, in here for example uh, my data in sheet 1 if your data and data 1 or so on you can select the name of the sheet in there to uh, load the data as well uh, you also can use the explicit range of the cell sometimes the data not starting from the first cell in the uh, Microsoft uh, Excel you can use uh, specify exactly what the range of the uh, data you want to load in there okay so so far um, so good for the uh, for the loading uh, by index for example okay now uh, next uh, we're gonna construct uh, or partition the data into two parts uh, the uh, training data set and so the uh, uh, evaluation uh, data set or testing data set okay so that's one gonna be going with the few operation uh, tab right there we use the partition now uh, double click in there I want to separate my data into 60 for training and 40 for uh, evaluation okay um, so let's see review so the data are gonna be a uh, um, uh, a, uh, appending a new field right here we call partition so they're gonna pick up randomly based on the random sheet right here to select some records gonna belong to training other records belong to the testing okay so we have this one and um, that's gonna be good now um, we need to specify the type of the um, input or the variable we want to uh, uh, use to construct the data mining model okay so in order to doing that we use the uh, type node right here uh, then um, we have the different uh, measurements that specify the type of the node um, I don't want to use the ID it's just, it's just the ID of the record so I'm gonna put none right there I know the A is gonna be continuous and um, I know the education have the undergraduate graduate and so on so that's good categorical I know that the personal uh, personal loan gonna be a categorical as well um, and that's gonna be my target variable okay I want to predict the class of that target variable all right I use all other uh, variable as the input and I use apply you can read and to see all right so now you can see the range of the uh, values of different variable there okay so this one we're gonna set partition so basically that's gonna use to um, separate the data into training and evaluation later on okay all right so far so good um so now i'm gonna um, add a, a model um to uh, to, to construct or to classify my data um, so click on the modeling right here you know so we select the uh, classification and regression tree node right here okay so double click in here um, now you use the predefined row so that's specified by the time node right there um, now the target gonna be the uh, personal loan and the all the other uh, variable gonna be the uh, input variable 
uh, let's see have some uh, build option right here uh, basically just leave it uh, uh, default if you don't want to uh, explore uh, something uh, model specific for your application um, you have the basic right here uh, just specify how how how, how deep is that the um, the the tree gonna be so here's the default with the file level uh, we use some stopping rule to um, stop being growing the tree so basic based on the percentage um, uh, what the minimum record in a uh, parent branch uh, and uh, minimum record in the child brand okay so leave it default right here the cost here to um, specify what uh, misclassification cost we use so uh, just just use it uh, based on the training data right here uh, probability of uh, value 0 and 1 gonna be a in the midpoint 0 0.5 uh, for the uh, ensembles, uh, we use the voting. So uh, when the when the leaf node or the tree have the multiple records in there, we use the voting to determine the class of that uh, uh, leaf node. Okay, let's leave it default. And also the uh, minimum chain in impurity to um, uh, to uh, select the uh, threshold for every um, every. A value to um, construct our tree we use the Gini index and also um, the minimum chain gonna be a 0 0.0001 okay so just leave it default right there all right um so just just leave everything default at this moment and click run to generate the nugget of the model all right so when you run you can see the nugget of the model have been created right here double click on the uh, nugget uh, you can see uh, the model gonna create a, um, a a list of variable have been used and uh, also indicate which one is the most important one so as you can see income is a very important uh, predictor for this uh, uh, for this model you see right here uh, gonna be a um, uh, important 0 0.9 so that's uh, significantly greater than the other variable right here okay um you can also see the uh, viewer to uh, see what is the tree we have okay so here the tree basically that's the tree we have right here um let's go from the uh top of the tree right here um so this is the target variable we want to predict uh this is node zero that's the root of the tree um this is showing that uh, how many variables are uh, in the uh, categorical uh, 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 category zero uh, and how many um, variables uh, in the category uh, one okay so we have this one uh, 1901 this is a 200 okay so this is the percentage of the number of records in each of the category and the total we have the 100 percent and then um, the first the first variable have been used to um, construct the tree that's the income variable that's the most important one we just saw uh, before uh, so we using the income and also the threshold to um, divide the data set into two parts that's gonna be one but in uh, fourteen thousand five hundred uh, dollar so um, if the number uh, if the records with this uh, uh, value of the income less than or equal to this threshold gonna be a, a class uh, gonna be a group into the uh, left hand side uh, branch right here the other hand with the records uh, have the value of the income greater than the threshold value right here uh, we can we can uh, have uh, all of the records gonna group into the right hand side right here so uh, you can you can trace that right here and the next variable using to um, um, uh, divide or partition the data in the uh, left hand side with the records less than one hundred and fourteen thousand five hundred dollar uh, uh, gonna be using the CCA uh, rate right here. Okay, so um, the threshold for this variable gonna be uh, two thousand nine hundred and fifty, uh, and uh, the left hand side gonna be greater, uh, smaller or equal than this one, and so on. So that the that the uh, way the um, the system is to construct the tree and uh, based on this one you can uh, you can uh, uh, construct the rule as well for example uh, we can see the rule right here uh, for the uh, of the uh, 
uh, first rule right here this means for the uh, left hand side branch right here um, the income grade are smaller than this one and the uh, C, C uh, average less than this one uh, we're gonna have the uh, mode zero okay. and um, so on right here for example and also the prediction for that um, for that record gonna be zero and um, the uh, uh, for example if the um, uh, CCIV uh, greater than this one and then the income gonna be a uh, greater than this one it's mean greater than this one but less than this one so uh, and then we use the next variable gonna be family uh, greater than uh, uh, 2.5 we can uh, have that uh, record gonna be a uh, uh, class one okay and so on so that that the that the how the rule have been constructed um, we can have the summary right here. You can see how deep the tree is. Uh, that's corresponding to the uh, to the deep the tree right here. Uh, we can have the uh, one. How many level the tree? Uh, two, three, and four. Okay, so that corresponding to the uh, to the depth of the tree right here. Uh, just see uh, what is the input we use right here. So. We you only some of the inputs that gonna be important to predict the target variable here. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight input or eight variable have been used to construct the tree. Okay, so that that the uh, some of the uh, basic information. Now um, next one we try to uh, see how can evaluate the performance of this one. Uh, in order to doing that we use the output. Uh, tab right here and use the analysis node right here add it into the uh, uh, canvas so double click right here and we just run it now now it's gonna create the uh, confusion metric right here showing that for the training data we have uh, correction or um, how, how many records have been correctly classified that the nine red in uh, uh, nine nine uh, 2,909 records have been correctly classified uh, with uh, 49 records have been misclassified okay so the percentage could be 98.34 percentage for the correct uh, classify uh, and the uh, number of records have been misclassified 1.66 uh, for the testing, that evaluation data, uh, we have the 2006 uh, records have been correctly classified and uh, 36 misclassified with the uh, percentage could be 98.24 uh, and uh, 1.76. So that's a pretty good uh, performance uh, using the uh, uh, classification tree. Okay. Um, and also, if you want to see the um, uh, leaf chart and also the uh, performance in terms of a uh, 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 gain chart we just using right here uh, and also we want to see what the best performance possible we have for that data set we can just click and run um, now you can see right here the best performance gonna be the uh, the uh, light green right here and our uh, constructed model have the performance at it. So that's pretty a uh, good performance in terms of uh, predicting the uh, personal loan um, uh, class. All right, uh, so now we have the model. So the next question is that how can evaluate the new coming data or how can we score the new data, okay? 